Zombie Go Boom. Kick Undead Ass. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the ZGB Survivor Show, the show that shows your stuff exclusively, which is pretty awesome. We are going to open up some packages, read some letters. We're going to show you an episode from Alien Go Boom. That's right, you heard it right. Alien Go Boom. And we're going to be showing you the weapons that we are going to be giving away on Facebook. We have a ton of weapons, like a ton of weapons. I'm not going to give it away, but stay tuned because <laughs> you can get some really, really awesome stuff. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to read some letters. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Dante Coke. He sent me this a while ago, and I never got to give him a proper thank you, but he gave me this little uh, law enforcement knife. Thank you, Dante. It's really nice of you, man. You're awesome. So you guys are familiar with uh, Jesse Thibodeau. He sent another one. He always sends them with these uh, red uh, envelopes, but uh, here's his letter. Thank you, Timothy. You're awesome, man. You're gonna run out of stamps, buddy. Okay, and it says, uh, Dear Zombie Go Boom, thank you so much for the shout out. I love you guys, but no, I'm going to tell all of my friends about how awesome you guys are. By the way, can I have a demolished Ivan head, please? One of a million fans, Jesse Thibodeau, P.S. There's a bracelet in the envelope, and he made this bracelet for us. Thanks, man. It's awesome. You're awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a demolished Ivan head. Next, we have Hayden Jones, and Hayden writes, To whom it may concern, my name is Hayden Jones. I am a sixth grade student at National Trail Middle School. I'm interested in learning more about your company. I like your channel and your website. My favorite part is the Ivan heads. I was wondering where you get the flesh foam. Where is the old producer? Will you test a bayonet on the show? Please send me back any information on the show. Sincerely, Hayden Jones, he signed it there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's answer your questions. Where do we get the flesh foam? Well, that's a trade secret. Second, where's the old producer? I think you're probably talking about Jim Goza. He uh, moved to LA. I think he moved back. I don't know, I really haven't talked to him for a while. But, you know, um, he's a cool guy, you know. Hit me up, Jim, if you see this. Will you test a bayonet on the show? Absolutely. I've been wanting to test a bayonet for the 4th of July for a very long time. I'm sure I'll get to it very, very soon. Next letter. The next letter is from Justin Sobolski. And he says, Dear Zombie Go Boom, my name is Justin Sobolski. I would like to send you a homemade weapon to test on an Ivan head. I would also like the Executioner Sword. If you can, it would mean the world to me. Thank you for lining Siebel knife and sword. Well, we no longer sell the Executioner's Sword, at least the first version. We're coming up with the second version and it's gonna be much more affordable. The Executioner's Sword 2.0. I'll show you guys that very soon because I just got the prototype in. It's pretty awesome. And uh, if you wanna send us weapons or letters or anything else, just check out our P.O. box. It's in the description below. That's it for the letters. Now let's look at the packages. We have one package. And you guys are going to be super excited to see this because a lot of you guys have been asking us to work with Scalagrim from YouTube. Well, I messaged him. We've worked it out. We're going to work together. And I'm sending him a Swabi and a couple of Ivan heads. And he sent us... Oh, yeah. This zombie tools. Dyphos. And we are going to be testing this very, very soon. I'm actually really, really happy with it. This is the first time I've ever wielded a zombie tools weapon. And it's incredibly light. I thought it would be very heavy, especially front heavy or front balance. But it isn't. It's, it's, it's actually quite light. I really like the balance on it. As you can see, not too bad. Pretty close to the guard, which makes... Makes you be able to like, you know, just move a lot faster. It's uh, spring steel, so it's not going to snap on you. And it's going to retain its shape. And um, it has an aluminum, uh, it has aluminum scales, which is pretty amazing. And this leather wrap just feels so, so good. I'm actually incredibly, incredibly impressed 
and it has a Kydex sheath as well, which is awesome. And it fits perfectly in there. Thank you so much, Scal, for sending this to us. And he also sent us a present, another present. He says, uh, D3 Protection Mini Jack from D3Protection.com. Leather blackjack handmade in Canada. Can it make a zombie go boom? And what he's talking about. And I didn't ask him to send me this. This is just sort of a, a surprise. But, uh, it's this leather weapon and uh, you hold it like this and then you smack the crap out of whatever you want and I mean I'm barely doing this to my hand and it kind of hurts so this might actually have what it takes to kill Ivan. We have this broken head right here I could just that kind of hurt bounce back and hit me in the hand I better make a note of that for whenever we actually test this. But, you know, with enough power, this could definitely work. Now our friend Michael from Alien Go Boom wanted us to show you a video that he made where he tested a really high-powered crossbow against one of his alien heads. So let's check it out right now, it's a lot of fun. Welcome to Alien Go Boom. Today we have an audience at the Zombie Go Boom channel. So let's start the show. The Barnet Predator Crossbow, the 37 inch long bad guy is the power in person. With a speed of 375 feet per second and a draw weight of 175 lbs, it kills everything that stands in the way. But having the power to kill an alien, we will see. Okay, it went right in the head. Perfect. This is definitely a fucking kill. So this is a paper cutting knife, I hope the alien is now overkilled. Let's see what we can do. Thanks to Chuck Marie for supporting us on Zombie Go Boom and I hope you liked this episode. See ya. Now it's time to show the giveaway box. These are weapons that we're going to be giving away on Facebook. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page, link in the description below, like the page and here and there we'll put status updates that are basically tell you how you can win some of the weapons that we're going to be showing you right now. Boom. These are all of the weapons that we're gonna be giving away. We're gonna have a contest every single week. And each week, you'll be able to win different things. It can range from a Cold Steel Brooklyn Smasher. We still have one of those. We have a Gunstock War Club. We have some Spike Baseball Bats, Z Hunter Swords, you know, Voodoo Hawk. We have the Zombro that we tested on the show. This is probably the most expensive item we have right now in the giveaway box. But uh, you guys remember this bad daddy destroying some zombies way back in the day. That's right, we're going to be giving it away. Go to our Facebook page and like because you could win one of these fabulous, fabulous weapons. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to win some weapons, please check out our Facebook. We're going to have giveaways all the time. If you want to watch last week's episode, go over there. If you want to check out Alien Go Boom, 
check out that link right over there. Big ass subscribe button right below me. Don't miss any of the action. Click on that if you haven't already and punch the living crap out of that like button because that really helps. We also have a shop, zombiegoboom.com, where you can get your very own zombie killing weapons. And you can help us out by going to our Patreon and any of our social media links in the description below. Love you guys, and we'll see you next time.